Happy Monday, motherfuckers! Or Tuesday, I don't know when this is coming out, or just whatever fucking day you're listening to it. I guess that doesn't really matter. Welcome back to Was That TMI, where we tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, everyone. My name's Sadie. If you don't know me, I'm a slut. Just kidding. D- have I ever introduced myself that way? If you don't know me, um, if I, you don't know me, I hit the wall on TikTok, and I started a podcast from it. Anyways, guys, welcome back to another episode of Was That TMI, uh, episode 22. I think I'm finally getting better with the with the what's it called what's the word okay i'm distracted right now let me tell you why so for those of you that listen to was that tmi frequently or know of the podcast if you don't i'm gonna tell you i film in my car i record the episodes in my car because i live with my family and i'm scared that they're listening to me and that's also why they're not visual it's always just audio so i'm filming in my car or recording it and i always pick a spot because i normally go and get a coffee and then like set it up in my car and pick a spot to go like sit at or whatever well the other day when i was editing i came to this spot and it's like kind of open area and no one's here and i'm like okay bet like i can focus because my adhd is so bad that if there's cars going by fucking people i get way too distracted so i pull up here and i'm like eating my bagel i just bought i'm like finishing my bagel and i'm like all right i'm about to start the episode and all of a sudden four motherfucking svu wait <laughs> I've been watching too much Law & Order Special Victims Unit. Four motherfucking SUV SWAT cars pull up and they're all like coming right towards my car and there's plenty of fucking parking here and I'm like oh shit like are they gonna come over here and be like what are you doing this is private property whatever well they just pull up then they're all getting out of their cars and they low-key like cornered me and I'm like okay what the fuck is going on I'm just like this tiny little girl in my car eating my fucking bagel with my microphone next to me and then they all just get out of their cars and like come together and they're like have cones in their hand and they're like setting shit up so i don't know what the dick fuck they're doing but they're definitely confused what the shit i'm doing but yeah i mean god bless me with four fucking dilfs pulling up today so thank you god therefore if you guys hear me drooling later in this episode i think they're about to hit a workout or some shit <laughs> but this episode guys i wasn't really sure what to do it about kind of like every episode but i always rely back on you guys i'm like what do you guys want me to talk about so i posted on the ig also i'm gonna post the swap cars on there but i posted on the was at tmi instagram and i asked y'all just for topics that you guys want to hear and you guys your number one things are story times or boys you want like boy advice ex-boyfriends hookup culture i don't even know it's just always like boyfriend ex-boyfriend or do a story time so today i actually watched this video this morning and it was about self-love and i've been fucking boy crazy lately and so we're gonna talk all about boys all about ex all about ex-boyfriends we're just gonna go over everything with dudes and what not to do i did an episode it was episode 12 and that was like my step-by-step guide my guide like how I think you can always pull a dude um, or like get the guy you want and I think some things have changed from that and I'm not really gonna be explaining like how to get guys I'm kind of just gonna go over y'all's like questions and shit and topics that you wanted me to go over while putting in some stories of me and boy stories yeah that didn't make sense anyways we're just gonna get into the episode so starting off I'm gonna tell you about my dream last night which is gonna go into one of the topics that one of you guys talked about but just listen so my fucking dream last night I don't know where I was I was staying at like some place like resort or hotel I don't even know do you ever have a dream that you're like hooking up with someone but like you're not actually hooking up with them like nothing's actually happening like obviously you can't fucking feel anything because you're in a fucking dream but like it's happening that was happening in my dream last night like I don't even know if I actually did like I don't think I dreamt this part but like in my dream I had had sex with this dude that I had just met and fucking I got pregnant like I was like oh my god like okay this is like rated R this part if you're like not above the age of 18 please skip through this part but I was like pregnant like I was like okay he nutted inside me like I'm pregnant and for some reason Bryce Hall was there and Bryce Hall was like it's fine like don't worry about it like you're tweaking like it's okay like you have like money like you're gonna be able to raise the baby Bryce Hall was being the nicest person ever and calling me the fuck down telling me that like it's fine that I'm pregnant and fucking Dixie was there she was like in her room that you could see from the street and it was like glass windows most random motherfucking shit ever but I just remember being like fuck I felt so guilty and regretted hooking up with this guy so much because I didn't know him and we fucked and I was pregnant and I was like okay TMI but what whatever I put my whole life on the line out there so I'm just gonna say it I have had one one night stand and after like regretted it so badly because in my mind I'm like if I got pregnant I would fucking hate myself like I would literally be like why the like I immediately am just like okay oh my god they are about to do canine biting testing with dogs this is fucking incredible uh free entertainment okay sorry sorry i'm distracted no but i've had one one night stand before and like i don't think that one night stands are bad like obviously like fucking once you get to like certain ages it's like so fucking normal but for me personally i remember after i was like it wasn't even that i felt like a slut like i didn't i was just kind of like 
fuck like that was stupid like if i get fucking pregnant it, it was just the stupidest fucking thing ever and like i just regretted it and was like why did i do that like that was stupid i shouldn't have done that i regret that whatever and so that's how i felt in my dream like i was literally in my dream freaking the fuck out and i was like why did i fucking do that there's some people that like you can hook up with and be comfortable with and it's like okay if i got pregnant like at least i know that i'm like whatever but like when you have a fucking one night stand with someone you don't know them it's like imagine you get fucking pregnant and you have to call them on the phone and be like your kid is inside my stomach right now like that's so like oh i would fucking hate that but that brings me to the topic that someone asked and they said hookup culture like what's my opinion on it and i talked about this in episode 12 when i was talking about my step-by-step -step guide on how to get guys or the guy you want and i was saying like hookup culture i don't think anything's wrong with it like we're in fucking 2022 do what you fucking want i mean if you're fucking horny like you're fucking horny like go have at it therefore my opinion on hookup culture like i don't really think it's that bad is it for me like me personally do i like it no because i'm a fucking sketchbook and i think i'm gonna get literally pregnant every time i do the deed also personally for me if i am not like comfortable with someone like if i don't know that person and like their personality i can't physically be attracted to them like that sounds weird but like if it's literally this like fucking like hot I'm trying to think like who's super fucking hot. I'm like, um, is there anyone? Is there anyone who's someone that's just like in the world? Everyone thinks he's hot. I can't even think of anyone right now. I don't know. I, I really can't. I don't know. Maybe I'll think of someone later, but like just think of like that perfect, like for me, it'd be like six, five athlete can throw me the fuck over his shoulder, like without even thinking about it. That's what like I'm attracted to. And that's like my to a T person, but I never wind up with people like that because I always am a personality person. Like if I fuck with your personality, I I fuck with you and i'm attracted to you i don't care if you're like not even cute like everyone's like that's not a cute kid if i fuck with your personality i mean you have to be like someone attractive but like even me like if you guys saw me right now or any guy they'd be like she's fucking ugly as shit but like if i pull myself together and then put my personality out a little bit maybe they'll think i'm like a tiny bit better you know what i mean so it's like that's how i am with people i'm just gonna say it this one fucking kid that like i got with one night and then regretted it like so fucking hot anyone would think he's so fucking hot but i regretted it because i was like i didn't even fucking enjoy it because it's just like i'm not that comfortable with him like it was just fucking like happened okay bye like you know it was just like i didn't feel gross after like i wasn't like i, I mean i did feel gross after i don't fucking know i was just like that was like literally pointless for me like that was just fucking stupid why did i do that like i don't regret it though because it kind of for me i was like okay now i know i don't like that shit but like my opinion on it if someone else does it i don't fucking give a shit like if a girl's like he's so hot we hooked up i literally have not talked to him again but like it was amazing i'm like pop the fuck off like good for you like go you me personally don't like it for myself but if other people do it i don't fucking care i low-key am a hopeless romantic though like not gonna lie like i actually low-key am and that's something that i get asked about a lot because guys will be like okay so my guy friends over the summer in florida i remember they said to me like and i know girls are like oh my god she's so fucking pick me when she says this shit but like i'll go over there like literally actually on saturday night i went over and hung out with them and slept at their house and it was like nine fucking guys in me like when we fucking went to bed and genuinely like like all of them know like none of them are gonna get with me and it's not like on some shit of like it's not like they want to get with me and they're not it's just like they just have said to me like we don't see you like that and i like that but they're like so what the fuck do you do like one of my really good friends is like dude like do you just not fucking get horny like what goes on and the thing is it's like if i am into someone and like them i'm not gonna date them because i don't fucking date people because i'm scared of commitment but i will make like a pact of like yeah we're like low-key to Together and hook up and like don't hook up with other people but we're not dating which every guy winds up just fucking me in the asshole for because they're like you're fucking crazy like we're basically dating but we're not and i'm like no but like you can go out to a bar and like kiss someone like that's fine because we're not dating but like if i find out that you're like going back to a girl's house i'll be mad it's just it's immature it's fucking stupid but that's how my mind works so people are like okay you don't want a boyfriend but you don't hook up with random people so you must just be like fucking celibate and i'm like no not really i just get guys into these weird phases and then they wind up fucking hating me and dipping out on my life so that's cool need to fix that trauma maybe i just got really heartbroken like three years ago and just i don't think i'll ever get past it anyways um for me it's like i get the fucking ick if i'm hooking up with someone and i am not like into them like guys just ick me out and i hate i don't want to sound like a fucking mean person saying that but i just genuinely like an ick is something you cannot fucking control and almost every girl i think has experienced that in their life it's so bad i struggled with this so badly in high school like i would literally really 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 like a dude hang out with him and he would start to like me and i'm immediately like ew like I, just something switches and i'm like i don't like you anymore it's so fucking weird i'm kind of past that and someone actually asked me about that she said i don't know how to explain it but every time i get close to getting a boyfriend i always get this ick and that was literally how it was for me all of high 
high school and almost to this day I still kind of get that way but I think the last guy I was with I didn't really ever get the ick which was so weird but I just never got it but I think the biggest thing ever is starting off as friends like when you start off as friends hang out with his friends in groups and things like that it's so much fucking better this sounds so stupid but like one thing that would give me the ick so bad is if I had a guy who like I was more than friends with and I would bring him to hang out with like a group of people that I'm friends with and he doesn't know anyone like I'm embarrassed not because anything's wrong with the guy but I'm just like I feel fucking awkward like <laughs> I just know my mom would be laughing at this because she's the same way as me but like trying to like introduce them to people and then like worrying if they don't feel like they're fitting in or just like bringing someone to an event and you feel like you got to be with them I don't know it's so fucking weird I don't know what it is but that's why I think like once again okay going back to my friends in Florida over the summer fucking like all of those guys I'm friends with but one of them over the summer I like kind of started to have a little bit of a crush on and he was like my he's still my best friend like I could not see him like that right now but like I I started to over the summer a little bit but it was because I was like holy shit we literally got to know each other so fucking well because we're best friends like we are literally best friends and we liked each other for like a week straight and then like got over it I think being friends hanging out in friend groups it's like way harder to get the ick because you're already being in so many situations like you're friends with the kid so if he fucking falls and face plants and like it's embarrassing it's not embarrassing to you because it's funny because it's your friend but if you were already like into that dude it's embarrassing <laughs> to the girl saying that she got the ick icks are just like things that you know gross you out i actually wrote some funny scenarios <laughs> funny scenarios down from x the top the ones that i wrote down are like take the guy that you like right now or take a guy that you have liked before and just imagine them in these situations okay so this is like one of the biggest ones for me him getting denied at a fucking bar or like him getting denied fucking a drink or like him <laughs> like just getting denied because he's like just they are denying him i don't know it's something it's this is sounds so mean and i feel like saying x are mean but like i feel like guys could say about girls too and like it would make sense i don't know just there's some things that it's like i can't control it my brain flips a fucking switch and i'm like oh my god like i can't like you anymore at all another big one for me is like watching someone put on sunglasses which sounds so fucked but unless they're like the country ones to go like on a bow or something i can't i can't do it it immediately turns me off him wearing open toed flip-flops and you're not at the fucking beach like imagine it's winter time and he's like fucking slipping on his thong flip-flops absolutely Absolutely not. <laughs> Watching him take a selfie. See, this is just getting mean. Or like him, like putting his Snapchat filter on a selfie. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. This is fucking mean. Oh my god, imagine him aggressively stomping and clapping to people rocking. I got these off TikTok. I didn't make them up except for the sunglasses. <laughs> okay, but there's really, there's not a cure for this. There's not. And sadly, it's kind of why I agree with just be friends, view everything as friends before going fully in. Because it's just like, if you don't, you're most likely going to get the ick. And it sucks so bad. It sucks. But a lot of y'all were asking about boys stuff like i said i screenshotted a bunch of stuff from instagram things to do to get back at a guy okay i'm not going to talk about that how to get over a guy that treated you like shit how do i know if a guy is losing feelings how do i know if he even likes me how to move on from my ex more about cheating what's unloyal loyal your thoughts on long distance so actually let me talk about this because i have some friends right now and i don't know why the fuck people come to me for advice i really fucking don't because i'm like um i, I literally can't keep a guy for like five days but whatever but one of my friends was dating a guy for a while they're going through a breakup and it's so hard when you break up with someone or they break up with you and you're trying to get over it because the one thing i'm going to tell you you have to give it is time and that's the last thing you want to fucking hear when you're in that situation like i remember when fucking my little high school boo thing quote unquote cheated on me not really but like kind of and i was like fucking heartbroken but looking back on it i was just heartbroken because it was like i had him like fully wrapped around my finger and like he would fucking get on his like okay that's mean he would just do anything for me like he was the best and when i found out that he was like fucking lying to me and shit i was like what the fuck okay now i actually want him all to myself and i want him to be in love with me again and i like i was like i'll fucking date you like i will date you right now then he was like no like i don't want to and here's the thing mentally our minds want what we can't have that's how it fucking is. That's literally how it is. We can't fucking control it. There's one guy right now that I want so badly and I know it's because it's the most difficult scenario out of all the guys I talk to. Like any guy that I could like and could be with, 
it's simple it's right there but with this one it's like not simple and right there therefore that's the one i want the most and that's the one i'm like sitting there thinking about sometimes and i'm like why the fuck do i even care it's because you want what you can't have i mean if you're listening to this you're probably younger and the thing i always tell people is that there is a fucking world of people out there and i know that's hard and you're gonna sit there and think no i just have a feeling about this person i feel comfortable with them they're my home i don't know what to do in some cases that might be true in the grand scheme of things you have more than one soulmate and i truly believe that someone was talking to me about this the other night actually because we were talking about getting married <laughs> and um he was like do you truly think that you can like just have one person and love them for the rest of your life like i don't think loyalty really exists anymore and i was like absolutely because i think the most beautiful thing about love is it's fucking hard as shit and you have to work through stuff and yeah there is other people out there that you could probably love just as much and fall in love with and get married and have kids and a family with and be happy with too but you pick your pick and you stick with it it's loyalty like that's the most beautiful thing in the world and they're like okay so what happens when one of the people dies like what you can go love someone else but like what about that one that you said you would love forever and i'm like they died like (laughs) what like if they die yeah you go out and you find someone else that you can love as well like i don't think that there's one person that you love more and always will and you could never find anyone else that you would love as much i don't think that's true some people might argue with me and say that i'm wrong but i don't think that's true and especially in the world we live in with like how quickly you can just fucking see what someone's doing like imagine back in i think i was talking about this imagine back in like our parents day how do i explain this so let's say back in the day you have a high school boyfriend right this is before phones and all that thing you're that big high school boyfriend you thought he was your soulmate you went to college it was a rough long distance patch i don't know what the fuck you're doing like talking on the fucking cell phone i don't fucking know and then you meet up you wind up breaking up and going your own ways but you love him so much then you meet someone else at your new job after you graduate college and you live in fucking illinois and he lives in i don't fucking know then you're on a trip one time boom he's there you bump into him that high school young love that you once had oh my god he's there with his wife you're there with your fucking husband you're like holy shit i'm fucking horny i want your dick no kidding but like you're like damn like that was the real fucking love i had what the fuck do i do well then you fucking walk away and their flight leaves tomorrow and they're gone you're not going on motherfucking facebook and looking up and seeing what jim's doing and who his fucking wife is and why she fucking posts about her dog more than him you can't fucking see that shit okay so therefore your mind's gonna fucking leave jim in high school love nowadays you see jim you can know where he fucking lives you can know where he fucking works you can know his best friends you can know where he golfed last week you can know his fucking dog and his fucking dog's name and why the wife is so fucking obsessed with the dog and how you wouldn't be that obsessed with the dog and you would like him more and post about him more and you're better than his wife now like you know every little fucking detail of their fucking life which makes our minds go fucking crazy. Anyways, I wish I was born 50 fucking years ago, but I wasn't, so that's why I'm talking about this. You always want what you can't have. And that's just, like, especially the fucking world we live in today, you can see so much, and it just makes you want it, want it, want it, want it, want it. So this girl that I'm friends with went through a breakup, and she wants him back now, whatever. And so it's like, you go fucking crazy because what you once had is now gone, and you're like, okay, you did want me at one point, though, so I know that I can get you back. Like, I'm right here. Why do you not want want me and it's because the other person's gonna be like no like you want me so bad i liked it better when you kind of fucked off and i had to chase you too like we all like the chase and so my one fucking like recommendation to if you're trying to get a guy back or like you're still in contact with that person don't fucking hit them up let them be like if you're hitting them up and they're kind of like okay fuck off like i don't know what i want right now step the fuck back go do your own thing go do your own thing distract yourself post up with some dudes and i hate it because it's like you're playing a game but i'm telling you the more that you like pull and tug at them and want them so badly they're gonna be like uh no 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 thank you that's just how our fucking minds work like imagine you fucked with a guy heavy and you guys were never really dating or maybe you were and then he broke up with you and then you kind of went off and did your own thing and started to kind of enjoy it and then he came crawling back and was begging for you but you're gonna be like okay stop like chill the fuck out like i kind of like my life right now that's how our fucking minds work it's just how it works and yeah it, it's sad but like that's how it's just how shit goes how to know if a guy is losing feelings how to know if a guy likes you i'm like really i people always say to me i think too much like people are like you fucking are thinking way too deep into this shit but like i don't know i just feel like it's so simple to like catch a vibe i don't know the thing you have to realize is there is someone out there that's gonna treat you better <laughs> probably always and i don't want a guy to like completely suck my dick all the time because i'm like ew i actually want a guy who's gonna like call me out for being a bitch and immature and like making like stupid fucking comments like i think that's kind of attractive but my thing is like if a guy's not doing like the bare fucking minimum ew like fuck off like don't even go there like i don't know it's just simple shit like you can just tell sometimes when a guy's like doesn't really care about you and that like i said makes you want them more but just no like absolutely not there will be 
someone out there who's going to treat you way better. And it's like, I'm 19, I'm young, I don't know how old everyone listening to this is, but I don't think I could actually date someone unless they were like 26 years old. Like, I really couldn't. And I'm way too fucking immature for them because, like, my mind process is like, I want to go out and like party and shit and be with other guys. And like, I'm definitely a flirt and I fucking fiend for attention from males. Also, I couldn't date someone my age because it's just like, it's Im- like, it's immature shit going on right now. Like, we're in immature parts of our lives. But how to know if they like you? I think the better question is how to know if they don't like you. And it's like, to me, if a guy's just like, kind of, I just see it as like how much attention they give you. If they don't give you a lot of attention, they probably don't. I don't know. I, it would have to be a scenario. I don't really know how to answer that one. Move on from an ex. Like I said, completely distracting yourself. Distract, distract, distract. People in college, I'll be like, go out, go out, go to the fucking function, go to the party. If you're not in college, go to the fucking party this weekend with your high school friends. Go hang out with the girls. Like, go do shit. One time I went through like a little ending of me and a dude and I was going on vacation with my mom that weekend and I was just with her and I love my mom, but it was awful because all I could think about was him. Like, literally, I couldn't just stop thinking about him because it was just like me and her hanging out. You gotta kind of like hang out with people your age, I would say. Like, go hang out with people your age. Yeah, surround yourself with people is the biggest thing, I would say. People, other dudes. It's kind of like, I hate saying this, but finding something to replace them for a minute and you don't even have to like replace them with that person and then that person becomes like a new person to you. Kind of just like a distraction and like someone else's attention. (laughs) It's like real, that's how I get over shit. That's probably not the best advice to give though. More about cheating. What is loyal, unloyal, and your thoughts on long distance? Long distance in college, I could never fucking do, but I'm also not in college, so I don't know. One thing for me, I could never date someone in college. Absolutely not, ever. I kind of have to do long distance with anyone I'm going to be with because I don't know anyone that lives around me. Like, I literally, where I live now, I don't fucking know anyone around here. So it's like anyone that I would be with would be long distance. And my thoughts on that are, it's hard because, so with what I do, I mean, I can do what I do wherever. I talked about that on the last episode, but I travel a lot. I'm with new people all the time. That's not fair to any fucking guy. I wouldn't want a boyfriend because they're just gonna be sitting there like what the fuck all the time and that's why I think kind of long distance in college is so fucking stupid if you do that I'm sorry I love you but if they go to a different college you go to a different college and you guys are going out or you guys aren't going out I mean I don't know if you guys have like a set up plan for what you're gonna do after you graduate and you guys aren't really experiencing the college thing you're just at separate schools because you want that education and whatever that's kind of different i think if you both are little party animals and go out and shit but you go to different schools and you're doing long distance it's like why why even try you will be able to find someone else very easily in my opinion and if you can't you will once you're out of college or like maybe when you're out of college then you guys go back to each other i just think it's kind of like enjoy the fun while you have it but some people on the other hand don't like to party and shit so i get that as well i'm actually kind of a fan of long distance i can't lie like i kind of like it like when i go and do my thing and then whoever i'm with is like doing their own thing too I don't know. I just like it because then it's like you guys can call and then you guys see each other and it's great. I did that last year and I actually really liked it. But then when I was traveling and stuff, it was like hard because I would never cheat, but I'm just a fuck. I'm a huge flirt. I shouldn't have a boyfriend, but I think long distance, it can't work. Um, more about cheating. What's loyal and unloyal. See, like I always bring these conversations up to when you're like 40 years old. Like if a girl's like, oh, I saw that you liked her picture on Instagram. Like that's basically cheating. I'm not one who, who gives a fuck about that now if like i had a boyfriend and i'm seeing that he's following 10 new hot bitches a day i'd probably be like all right babe like what the fuck is going on like why are you so fucking horny and like why do you have a girlfriend if you want to go like do that but i don't think if someone's like liking someone else's instagram picture like i don't find that really as like cheating and then i think about it it's like if my mom caught my dad fucking liking a girl's bikini pic online she's not going to be like cheat divorce right now let's call up the lawyer you know what i mean same with just like if my mom's out and like a guy's fucking talking to her or vice versa for my dad and like you know it's like we're fucking human beings like there's chemistry in every conversation almost and it's like even if it is a little flirt i don't think that's cheating like it's not going anywhere yeah talking to other girls on the phone hiding it i think it's if you're hiding it why are you hiding it you know what i mean but then that's the thing for me too is i have so many fucking dude friends that like they'll call me and i'll be like oh hey baby what's up and it's like i think about if i had a boyfriend the guy would be like what the fuck is this shit or like if i see him i like run up and hug him and like i'm like oh my god i fucking miss you so much i love you like i would sleep in their bed with them but not hook up with them any guy is gonna be like what the fuck is wrong with you like you have a fucking boyfriend so that's why for me like i'm just wild with it and i just shouldn't get involved in any of that shit right now but yeah i'm not the person to ask about that stuff i would love to get one of my exes on the podcast 
podcast. Wait, I so should. That'd be so funny. And ask them how they feel about me and the shit I do. I'd probably get grilled. Maybe I shouldn't do that. I'm gonna look at some more of y'all's topics you want me to talk about. This girl's, I love this so much. She said, how to know if you like him or if you're just fucking bored healing from your recent breakup, lol. This is a huge thing for me. When I am home, not with other people, I will 1000% have a crush. 1 million fucking percent. Like right now, definitely have a crush on this one little boy. Therefore, I think it's like, I think, yes, I do like fuck with him. But I think it's also the fact that I'm sitting at home doing nothing. Like I'm recording my podcast, editing a YouTube video, doing merch shit. The only other thing I'm thinking about is the fucking guy I want in my bed next to me. You know what I mean? If I were to be in a house with a bunch of other fuckers like that I'm, I'm friends with, I'm not gonna be really thinking about that kid at all, you know? Which is fucked up. I'm just not not good with this shit but that's the one thing is that it's like being bored can very easily lead to thinking that you are full-on in love with someone and this is your soulmate and you're heartbroken it one million fucking percent can i remember the army boy i went and visited in cali and that whole episode that whole thing i was so fucking torn apart like i remember when i went home i was so torn apart or even when my little high school boy fucking lied to me and was fucking another girl (laughs) hooking up with another girl i remember i was home for like two weeks and i was so upset like so fucking sad crying every night drinking by myself i wrote this fucker like 20 letters thank god i burned them Jesus. But it's because I look back now and I'm like, what the fuck is what's wrong with me? Like, I was fucking insane because I was bored and I was sitting at home. Because guess what? I went up to... Sorry, I'm watching Cooper drive a golf cart now with two dogs chasing him. I'm at home now, by the way. What was I even saying? I was at home. Funny enough, I went up to my hometown, like, because we had moved to Florida, whatever. I was just in a spot where I didn't have anything going on around me. Well, then I went to a different destination and was surrounded by a bunch of people and friends, and I met a new boy completely over the X within, like, a day. Like, I literally was like, oh, I just need to get the fuck out of my house. So, that's why I say, for me, distraction always fucking works. How to deal with other guys liking you and your boyfriend not having it. This is something where it's like for me i think if i were to have a boyfriend i would need someone who's very secure with himself and very like just confident and knowing that like i'm sorry if you have a vagina guys are gonna try and fuck with you like guys are just fucking like that i'm sorry i'm watching cooper literally almost run over my dog but for real like if you are a female and you go out to a fucking club guys will flirt with you and i think that it's like that's why you just need a guy who's like a guy is fucking flirting with you like they should be like yeah that's my fucking girl like flirt with her cool she's with me like i if i was a guy i feel like i'd be like yeah fuck yeah and that's the thing too i when i would have exes they would always say to me like you don't fucking care if girls are like all over me or whatever and i'm like yeah because you're fucking mine like okay what they can try and be all over you like it's kind of funny to me like okay like yeah that's my boyfriend like he's hot cool that's how i see it it's just like okay yeah like go for it he's not gonna fucking do anything because like he's with me but like sure i'll watch you try you know what i mean so that's why i think like if a guy's getting mad at you and being like all these guys are fucking all over you i don't like seeing it it's like okay we'll grow a fucking pair of balls and like be happy that you're with a hot bitch that's how i would think i'm also kind of toxic so i don't like i said i don't know why i get on here and like give advice like i should because look at me Ooh, how to start talking to a boy you like but they don't have social media i kind of like that like if a guy is not on his phone a lot it's so hot because genuinely weirdly enough i'm not on my phone that much and like my parents would probably be like bullshit but like as much as someone would think i'm on my phone for what i do i'm really not like i like being outside so much going outside and just sitting outside or like driving around listening to music i really am not on my phone that much so i think that's kind of attractive how to start talking to them i would say i don't know get their number facetime's such a way to go i just gave someone advice on this because they were asking about girl shit and they were like how do i start talking to her and i was like fucking ring her on facetime it always works like girls will love that shit i think guys do too like if you're somewhat into them and you just randomly fucking facetime them i swear even if you just face them you ask them something fucking stupid like if you're just like hey um wait did you do this and they're like what and they're like did you text in this group chat or like are you going to this party and they're like oh i don't know and then you're like oh okay all right thank you bye it's kind of like wait what why'd she just call me and ask me that like you know what i mean you gotta fuck with her head a little bit someone said how did you feel after losing your <laughs> card okay so this is actually i don't know if i've ever talked about this if you're not above the age of like fucking 18 this episode's over <laughs> sorry i well i lost my virginity when i was seven but I lost it like after all of my friends did and it was kind of hard for me because I had already kind of like blown up on YouTube and so I was like fuck I don't trust anyone now like I just didn't trust anyone and I had no issue telling people like I'm a fucking virgin like I really didn't fucking care but then I didn't trust anyone so like I didn't want like I didn't and I never really cared that I was a virgin like I really didn't but it was just like someone I was close with 
and yeah i almost lost it at 14 to someone that thank god we didn't because it would have been fucking weird as shit to this day yeah there's not really a good story time to it like it was kind of just like we were at his house and yeah it happened and then i was just like okay i didn't really care at all but yeah that was it worst took up of all time oh 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 my god i had a really 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 bad experience like two months ago and i didn't know that it was gonna happen because i'm stupid and i've been lucky enough to have guys that don't care to just like hook up with me and then let me walk out the door which like is shocking but there was one guy that caught the complete wrong message from me because i'm so a type of person to be like y'all come over at 3 a.m but like we're gonna talk and you're not gonna get my pants sorry and i just had a guy that like didn't know that vibe and literally like 45 seconds actually no like three minutes into like hooking up which so fucking bad but like i just had a hookup that was going and i like knew that i needed to stop it and i kind of was just like um i'm gonna leave once it started happening and they were just like oh okay and then i just left but that's what i say i say to girls all the time I'm like if you don't want to fucking be there like get up and dip because you just never feel like you fucking have to hook up with someone because you don't that was probably my worst of all time though but I'm not going to get into the details of that because I want to respect my mother because she'd probably hate me. Yeah. Okay. That's it for this episode though, guys. I don't really, I think that was kind of all just like boy shit. Yeah. I do have a little crush right now. I actually was on the was that TMI Instagram the other night and I was saying how I fucking cleared my whole bench off. Like I literally cleared my whole fucking bench of boys that I talked to and I didn't really clear it, but there's just one who's like starting every basketball game and not like legitimately, but like on my little playing field of men. There's one that's just like the point guard, starter, quarterback, you know, he's just the star fucking player of my fucking brain right now. And it's really fucking annoying, but I know it's because I've been home for like the past two weekends and I got to get out into the world. And this weekend, I don't know where I'm going right now. It's between Nashville, the Ole Miss Bama game. That's going to be fucking sick. I really want to go to that. Um, Possibly Jupiter, Florida, possibly the Dominican Republic. <laughs> where else is there possibly nola i don't fucking know where i'm gonna be this weekend but i know i'm gonna be somewhere i know i need to find some cute little brats brodies boys that's actually really awkward there's a kid i like named brody guys my biggest advice to you is just to distract yourself fuck if i ever you know what if i ever get a boyfriend and his mother comes and listens to my podcast i'm so fucked like i'm so fucked i need to start doing podcasts with like cooper or something and make it look family friendly so when they ask i can be like yeah i do with my little brother okay anyways guys i love you so much thank you for listening i hope you guys are all good stay well be well be kind and keep your mind healthy yeah we love that so much anyways be a slut love y'all bye